Hello, this is SimsArt, and today we're going to talk about some of the new features of Clip Studio Paint 2. Clip Studio Paint has many new features. During this second of two videos, I will focus on the ones that better work while working on illustrations. We will talk about Liquify Tools Multiple Layer Support, New Perceptual Color Mixing, Fisheye Lens Ruler, Geometric Distortion Filter, Convert to Panorama Filter, Spin Blur, Layer Search by Keyword. Liquify Tools Multiple Layer Support. In this new version of Clip Studio Paint, it's possible to select multiple layers and apply the Liquify tool on each one of them at the same time. This can be a lifesaver in many situations. It's worth mentioning that the Liquify tool works as usual. New Perceptual Color Mixing. This is my favorite new tool. As a digital watercolor enthusiast, it is now possible to mix the colors so that the results are more vibrant, bright and natural, so to speak. It's possible to turn this feature on and off in the Ink tab in the Subtool Detail panel of any brush. The first step is to activate the color mixing and then in the mixing mode set Perceptual in the drop-down menu. It is also possible to set the correction to different intensities, to accentuate or make the effect more subtle. While in the standard mode mixing often results in a darker, muddier and grayish look, now the colors will be more pleasing and vibrant. Fish Eye Lens Ruler this option adds to the already powerful and useful ruler tool the option to add a curvilinear perspective feature that can definitely help anyone that wants to use this type of perspective in a technically correct way. To create a new ruler with a fisheye perspective, just go in Layer, Ruler Frame, Create Perspective Ruler and then select a 1, 2 or 3 point perspective and leave the fisheye perspective tick on. Everything else is gonna work as usual. The difference is that every vanishing line will curve like it is placed on a sphere. Geometric Distortion Filter This filter can help to give a barrel or pincushion effect to the image we apply the filter on. To activate this filter, go to Filter, Distortion, Geometric Distortion. In the pop-up menu, it's possible to select Distortion and Scale Ratio. It's possible to move the center of action and this will change how the object will be distorted. Convert to Panorama Filter. This filter allows us to distort an image and give it the typical distortion that we can see in panoramic photos. This filter is in Filter, Distort, Convert to Panorama. We can select the layer of distortion, the angle and the scale ratio. We can also select the center of action and the object we are distorting will follow according to where the center is placed in relation with the image we are converting. Spin Blur. This filter gives a spin effect to the area we apply it to and can be used in many case scenarios. It's located in Filter, Blur, Spin Blur. In the pop-up menu, we can select the strength, the direction, the shape and tilt level. All this in combination with the option of changing the center of rotation. Layer search by keyword. Last but not least, in the search layer palette, it's possible to search layers by keyword. The search layer palette is located in Window, Search layer. It's important to mention that this feature will only be available on the EX version of Clip Studio Paint. With this tool, we reached the end of this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about these features and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.